memory of your past made manifest. Hmm. A dangerous memory. Memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plant. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Guess I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest. Much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. Ah! <laughs> 
takes this one. Pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested, and you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Seagram made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. Oh! <laughs> 
On your right! Fight hard! Sword isn't something full of terrible memories, I hope. What do you think? should be free to move up to the next area now.
They must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. What else happened that night between you and Sigrun? Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. And then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you misspeak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Hmm.